This is just an introduction to the type of crystals you will come across. Again, no calculations, nothing is done here. Only the you will be asked to identify the type of crystals. The type of the different type of crystals are one is the ionic crystal, then we have a covalent crystal, then molecular crystals and metallic crystals. What each one of them? We just have a little introduction on each one of them in the coming pages. The different type of crystal is given as a summary. You don't have to memorize it, but you need to know the basic forces involved in each one of them, their properties, and a few examples uh, of each one of them. Ionic crystals. Basically, these are those kind of crystals which is formed between two um, in an ionic compound, sodium chloride, etc. The intermolecular forces, as we know, the dispersion force is already there, but they have columbic attractions. Because of the columbic attraction, they are very hard, they have high melting point, they, but they do not conduct electricity in solid state. Some of the examples are all the ionic compounds, potassium chloride, calcium chloride, etc. The second kind of crystal is the molecular crystal, where the dispersion force or the dipole-dipole interaction or the hydrogen bonds predominate, or basically the bonding over here will be covalent. And therefore, because of not very strong bonding, they'll be soft, they'll have lower melting point, and they are not very good conductors of electricity. So a very common example is water, CS2, and all the inert gases, or I can say the organic compounds mainly fall under this group. Then we have a special kind of covalent bond crystals called uh, covalent crystals. In this case, the predominant in, uh, intermolecular bond is covalent. So, uh, we have uh, the two typical examples of it is uh, carbon in the diamond form, silicon dioxide, the sand, and silicon. And they are very hard, they have high melting point, and they do not conduct electricity. The difference between covalent bond uh, crystals and molecular crystals is molecular crystals, the intermolecular force is basically the weak dispersion force are the dipole-dipole interactions or at the most hydrogen bonds. But in a covalent uh, crystal, the intermolecular force is a strong covalent bond. And since the number of bonds is so large, it gives a huge structure and hence makes the um, uh, compound or the element very hard. The typical example is carbon in the diamond form and silicon dioxide. We also call it as sand. Then the last one is the metallic bonds. Again, they are also pretty strong and they are good conductors of electricity and heat. It forms between metals. They conduct electricity in solid state. This is the difference between a metallic crystal and an ionic crystal. Ionic crystals can conduct electricity only in solution, whereas metallic crystals can conduct electricity in solid state because of the sea of elements, sea of electrons around them. And all the metals are examples for this. Identify the type of crystals given over there. The first one, sodium chloride, it's an ionic compound, therefore it's an ionic crystal. Iodine, it's a molecular crystal because it has a covalent bond between them. It's a non-polar. Methyl alcohol, CH3OH, it's again a molecular crystal. SiO2 will be a covalent crystal because it forms a big network of solids. Silver is a metal, therefore it's a metallic crystal. H2Cu will be Se will be a molecular crystal. Potassium is a metal, therefore it will be a metallic crystal. KBr, potassium bromide, is ionic, therefore it's going to be a ionic crystal. Then we have carbon dioxide, a non-polar covalent compound molecule. Chromium is a metal, therefore metallic. Ice is basically water, therefore it's a molecular crystal. Carbon, the form of diamond, is a covalent crystal. P4, it's again a molecular crystal. Calcium oxide, a ionic compound, therefore it's an ionic crystal. Gold and platinum, both of them are metals and hence they are, both of them are metallic crystals. Identify the one that conducts electricity in solid state. The first one, Fe2S, Fe and S. Out of it, only Fe is the metal, therefore Fe is the answer. The second case, arranged in the increasing order of melting point. So the compounds given water, Na2O and oxygen, 
oxygen will have the lowest because it's a molecular compound water will come next then comes Na2O it being an ionic compound will have the highest melting point then which is harder carbon graphite or carbon diamond obviously carbon diamond because it's one of the hardest compound graphite is basically an amorphous solid and, and diamond has a huge covalent network both are carbon but carbon graphite is soft it can conduct electricity but carbon is very hard and it does not conduct electricity